they set up something for me where I helped clean the rattlesnake pit, and yeah. the whole experience left me rattled. I bet. Mm, take a look. Hey, Jared. All right, what sort of experience have you got for me today? All right, like I told you before, mm. this one's a surprise. Right. And uh, since it's a prize, surprise here. We're gonna go ahead and blindfold you for this one, all right? All right, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a onesie. Oh, this is Snake Farm's special blindfold okay. here, all, all right? right? here we go. Perfect. I'm sure I look really cool. <laughs> you do, now right this way. <laughs> okay. All right, right this way, all right. Hold on just a sec, let me open something up here. Wait, why? <laughs> what? You know how most people's biggest fears, or a good, good chunk of people's biggest fears are snakes, right? Uh-huh. Okay, well, we're gonna get you up close and personal with some snakes. Let me show you here. Let's put this up. Oh my gosh! What, wait, 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 wait. We're not. Yeah, we're gonna get down in there. So, and I don't even wanna say it. If one were to strike, mm -hmm. do they clamp on or do they let do they really, do they let go? Mm -hmm. And when they strike out, this fang that's normally hinged and held back and tucked up under the mouth, so he's gonna bite down, inject venom through that hollow fang, pull it out, and go back. I mean, before you've even realized it's happened. So, quick strike, quick strike. Go, buddy. You can see he's getting in that kind of, that's the, yeah, the legendary S-shaped oh, striking no. position oh my there. Gosh. Oh my gosh. And uh, that's where he's kind of kind of coiled up like a spring. Yeah. And from that position is really where he can strike the best. Right. This ladder is kind of close to these snakes here, but what we're going to do is you're going to climb down slow. Um, uh, I would yep. rather not planning to go fast. I would rather not get these guys riled up by moving them. Okay. Um, so I trust that you're pretty safe just coming down like you are. Um, go ahead and start coming down real slow. I, I feel I've like said, I need a cocktail. First. I've said this a <laughs> lot of times to you. Just trust me. Right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> the worst thing you could do is fall right now. So nice. Thank you for those Eric words of encouragement, Jared. All right. Now grab my hand. And I want you to step from that step uh -huh. around me, so I don't want you to go down. There you go. Okay. Oh my gosh! Very good. Very good. They definitely are a lot larger from down here. You have to keep an eye on this guy. Look yeah, at this no, guy I here. That's one of the largest rattlesnakes in this group. Um, he's between six, six and a half feet long, uh, which is really considered huge for these guys. Oh. You can see right now, see how we started to get closer? Yes. And that rattle's really starting to go fast right here. Oh, I see. He's really feeling a little more threatened the closer we get. Uh -huh. But I want really viewers to realize that I'm right now standing four feet away from a really I, large rattlesnake. No, this is striking right And he's not striking at us. Right. He's, he's obviously, he's not out to get us, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so this snake's moving a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go ahead and just gently touch him, let him know, hey, we'd rather you opt to go a different direction than our escape route here. Okay. Uh, but if you see a rattlesnake just like this, just backing up, leaving it alone, you're perfectly safe. Uh, you can always call your local animal control. Um, if they're not willing to come out, um, they're usually able to give you a number or something to someone who, who can advise you know, where you can go or who you can call to come and get them. This is why I have um, your number on speed dial, Jared. That's right. <laughs>